super friends, my name is Annie and welcome back to another episode of Superhero Saturday where we talk about the arts of superheroes, storytelling, and so much more. I've already done a couple of videos about superheroes and personality types, so I'm just going to recap real quick to get you all on the same page. If you want to check out those other videos, remember that you can always check the description box below or go to my page. Now, as a writer, I believe that personality typing is an incredibly useful tool for storytelling. Not only does it allow you to create more fully realized and honestly more realistic characters, but it also gives you something to fall back on when your character is stuck in a given situation and you're not sure how they're going to react next. My favorite personality typing system is the Enneagram, which is usually connected to this symbol right here. To put it briefly, the Enneagram consists of nine different main personality types characterized by a person's primary motivations. Each of these nine types also have two wings, which means that a given person's pattern might lean toward one way or the other around the outer circle of the diagram. For example, if you're a type 3 personality, it's likely that your behaviors and motivations also lean toward type 2 or type 4, giving you a wing 2 or wing 4 personality. As an artist and a type 1 wing 9, I find the study of these personality systems to be completely fascinating, and I've been doing it for most of my life. The reason that the Enneagram has become my favorite is because I think that it's the most elegantly simple and yet the most deep. Scholars of the Enneagram system understand how each of the different types relate to each other and with themselves, and they understand how each of the types react under different conditions, for example, under stress or duress, or in a period of growth and enlightenment. But the main reason why the Enneagram is my favorite is because there are nine main personality types that perfectly match my own team of nine original superheroes, and I didn't even realize it. Plus nine is my favorite number, so yeah. So for today's video, we are going to be examining each of the nine different superheroes that make up the Fearless Nine and see how they relate to their different Enneagram types. All hopefully without giving away too many spoilers. So buckle up, super friends, because we're gonna hop our way around the Enneagram diagram. No, seriously, it makes more sense to go in, in order of appearance rather than by number around the chart. So we're gonna hop around a bit. We are going to start first with the main character from the first book in the Fearless Nine series, Stronger, which is Haley Hendricks. Haley is a Type 8 Wing 7. Type 8s are distinguished by their deep internal desire to do whatever they want, no matter the consequence. As a Type 8, Haley is a real go-getter who doesn't let anything stop her. She can be domineering at times, but as a challenger type, she is also very protective of her people which makes her a great leader for the team. Also, as a Wing 7, she isn't tied down by expectations and can roll with the punches, which helps her become a good superhero. Without her decisiveness and unhinged encouragement, or rather, relentless badgering, the Fearless Nine would be lost without her. Our next character is Cannonball Cooper. Haley's partner in justice and the super to her hero, Cannonball Cooper, is a Type 1 Wing 9. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> type 1s are distinguished by their intense desire for justice to be served. As a Type 1, Chris would be called a moral perfectionist in the Enneagram system. His moral compass is just as super strong as he is, and he makes a stand for truth and justice wherever he sees fit, even if it costs him dearly. Though he is highly compassionate towards others, he has a tough inner critic that's almost as harsh as Haley, which sometimes leads to a turbulent sense of self-confidence. With a Wing 9, he also has a deep desire for peace and conflict resolution, which makes him the perfect anchor for the Fearless Nine team. Next up, we have Kara Kostopoulos, known online by the Alias Network. She is a bright, bubbly, emotional ball of Type 4 Wing 3 energy, which makes her the individualist. Type 4s are distinguished by their unique sense of self and understanding of the inner world. She loves curating her own unique aesthetic, but her sense of style is more than skin deep. As a Wing 3, she is always looking at the big picture for ways to improve the team's public relations, and she spearheads the superhero's social media campaigns to improve visibility and transparency with their followers. 
She is also very passionate and will give everything she has to create something enduring, even when she doesn't think anyone understands her sacrifice. Although the Fearless Nine would never have lifted off the ground without her ambition. The world's ultimate super spy, Redemption, is a brilliant and reclusive Type 5 Wing 4, making her the investigator of the team. Type 5s are distinguished by their intense curiosity and search for knowledge. As a super soldier created by the evil organization known as Archetype, Aida is highly intelligent, a master of manipulation, and has skin as tough as steel. But on the inside, she's still a girl looking for her place in the world. She knows what she's good at, and she does it better than anyone else. But she'd rather be introspective and search for meaning within herself. That doesn't stop her from striking out on her own and stepping up to the struggle. And thanks to her combination of brains and brawn, that makes her the Fearless Nine's best battle strategist, as well as its heaviest hitter. Okay, now we're getting into book two territory. So if none of the next series of characters sound familiar to you, that's okay, because they are coming up and you will see them soon. But I'm still gonna try and avoid any serious spoilers. So we should be okay. Our next superhero is martial artist Gabby Guerrero, who is a highly disciplined fighter and whose pervading love of people makes her a type three wing two. Type threes, or the achievers, are distinguished by their deep desire to be the best. Although she doesn't always realize it, Gabby has a deep understanding of human behavior and expectations, and she can adapt to any given situation with ease, especially if it aligns with her goals. Or rather, if she aligns her goals with herself. Her primary motivation in life is to find a way to make a big difference in the world around her, and to create a place where she and her friends, both new and old, can be safe and happy. That's what makes her the battle-ready mama hen to the Fearless Nine. Our next characters go hand in hand, literally. Agents Indigo and Infrared are the dynamic duo of heroes who hail from the inner workings of the federal justice system and make up our Type 9 Wing 8 and Type 2 Wing 1 heroes, respectively. Indigo is not your neurotypical guy, as he lives with savant syndrome and autism aside from his superpowers but that only has a passing influence on his personality type. As our Type 9 or Peacemaker hero, Indigo would rather keep things the same than do anything to rock the boat, unless you provoke him or threaten harm to the people he loves. He's a bit of an idealist and sees the world as something that can be fixed, although he would rather not take on all of that by himself. That makes his combination of Type 9 and Type 8 a good combination for a superhero. On the other hand, Agent Infrared is known as the helper type, and she is consumed by her passion to make the world a better place. She has no problem getting her hands dirty and utilizing every resource she has to save people, even people she doesn't know, and even at the cost of her own health and happiness. In fact, Type 2 Wing Ones are often known as the superhero type. With their personalities combined, Indigo and Infrared work together to coordinate the Fearless Nine into a team that is as effective in serving justice as it is powerful. Our next superhero is Timberwolf, who works on the ground level to fight the good fight, and that is helped by his Type 6 Wing 5 personality. Type 6s are known as the Loyalists and are distinguished by their connections with people. Timberwolf is a consummate people person, and he meets people where they're at to help them deal with their problems in any crisis. As a former police officer, Tim leveraged his deep understanding of the justice system and his natural extrovertedness to interact with the public in times of peril to bring about the most positive results. Even after he strikes out on his own, Tim finds himself as the social foundation of the Fearless Nine, and his sense of realism helps the team find practical, applicable steps to resolve conflict and deal a knockout blow to the forces of evil. Finally, we have Brooklyn, aka Audacity, who becomes the face of the Fearless Nine as a Type 7 Wing 8. Type 7s are known as the Enthusiasts, and they are distinguished by their pursuit of experience. Audacity's sense of spontaneity and her ease in front of the camera come from deep within her personality to contribute to the group. After all, she became a superhero because she thought it would be fun. And in fact, she is very enthusiastic about justice. 
For her, however, justice also comes in the form of social movement. When she believes in something, she believes it wholeheartedly and with genuine authenticity that people can just sense. Her Wing 8 is the perfect superheroic addition to her personality too, because it gives her the grit to stand her ground in the face of evil. That's what makes Audacity the driving force behind the Fearless Nine. So there you have it, all nine of the Fearless Nine superhero team members as described by their Enneagram types. I think that was free of most spoilers, I think. Um, if not, then that's just how it goes. <laughs> If you want to see the Fearless Nine in action, I encourage you to go to our website at www.fearless9.com and check out the books that have already been published. And then tell me what you think. Do you think that this is an accurate description of the characters that I've already introduced? Because honestly, I wrote the first book before I even knew what the Enneagram was, so the fact that they all fall into place so naturally, that that's just cool. I did not do that on purpose. And if you've already read the books, do you think that this makes sense with what you understand with how the story's been going? Let me know in the comments below. In the end, of course, after all of my intensive study into the different personality types, I truly think that there is no one type that cannot be a superhero. So whatever they are, they're super. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more superheroic content every single Saturday. You can join the team by supporting us on Patreon or following us on social media. And again, if you want to learn more about the Fearless Nine team, you can go to our website at www.fearless9.com for more information. Thanks again for watching, super friends, and we'll see you next week.